Welcome back. We have a lot to talk about as this is a very big week for the stock market. You know, the S&P 500 has been up. The overall market has been bullish lately. Is this going to keep up? Well, we have a lot of big news. CPI data for May will be released on Tuesday. Um, the Federal Reserve will have a two-day meeting where leaders are expected to pause rates as inflation has been coming down. Now, will this happen? It's not set in stone. Um, CPI data will be released on Tuesday. Like I said, we'll see what happens. They're expecting the core month over month inflation gauge to be 0.4% for May. If inflation somehow comes closer to 0.03%, this does happen. This would be very positive and obviously help the Fed's potential decision to pause interest rate hikes for this month and also possibly for July as well. But if the Federal Reserve moves ahead with raising interest rates, Yet again, investors will most likely see a decline in the stock market. Jerome Powell is also expected to speak, which means an even more volatile week for the market. You know, every time he speaks, um, it does have a big impact on the market. You watch until the very end, because at the end, I'll be showing you an AI stock that has a micro float under 4 million outstanding shares, under 4 million at float, a very small float that already has almost 10 million volume pre-market. There's really no limit for how high this one can run considering the tiny float and the huge amounts of volume. So this one could really skyrocket today. Definitely one you have to watch this entire week. I'll be covering a 0.12 penny stock that produces electric cars and motorcycles that just announced their revenue forecast is increasing from 105 million to 120 million. This is one that's trading at a $20 million market cap. They're forecasting $120 million revenue for uh, fiscal year 2023. So with a $20 million market cap, very undervalued. They have a very good share structure as well. Looking at this chart from DB Day Trades, looking bullish on Friday on big volume, 200 SMA tap, looking very likely this week at 0.15 or 15 cents. Over that and holding, we can see a push to 20s as the next resistance. They have four high growth sector, the telecommunications sector, which is probably their biggest business side they're in the fintech business as well and crypto side and the electric vehicles have their own motorcycles and are developing their own electric car. We'll be going over many other hot penny stocks and short squeeze plays. All of these filled with upcoming catalysts. So make sure you watch the entire video. Make sure you like the video and put notifications on so you do not miss these plays as well. Your BKKT trading at $1.40. This stock is less than $1.50. It IPO'd at $10 a year ago, was $42 October 25th through 26th of last year, founded and owned by a Fortune 500 Intercontinental Exchange Inc., parent company of New York Stock Exchange services include digital assets, etc. On um, BKKT completes 155 million deal for Apex Crypto. This be the only exchange allowed and the last exchange standing as there has been a lot of problems with current crypto exchanges. Everybody knows this. This is definitely a play that I could see having a run. Definitely is in a well position to possibly have a run if everything lines up right. They're very well positioned for improving crypto market conditions. So, you know, if if Bitcoin goes up, this one could really go up as well. Coupled with their regulatory and compliance first focused approach, their platform is truly differentiated than the in current environment. And our company is built for sustainable growth in October. So in October 2021, BKKT had a MasterCard partnership, it looks like. And just in August of 2022, Sullivan Bank and in uh, just a few months before that, Global Payments Partner, just a lot of partnerships going on on the OTCQX, ticker IQST, IQSTEL Inc., trading at 12 cents. Now, this is a company I have covered in the past at 20 cents, has been in a downtrend, although their company and their fundamentals have been increasing. Their earnings forecast has improved from 105 million revenue for this year. The company has initiated the consolidation of the telecommunications subsidiaries that make up the company's telecom division. The first consolidation step by the operational combination of Edelix and SwissLink alone anticipated to improve the bottom line by 500,000. The earnings improvements are expected to begin taking effect in Q3 of this year. So definitely one to watch out for in Q3. IQS Tell recently increased its fiscal year 2020 revenue forecast from 105 million to 120 million. Now they have a very good share structure as well. It looks like they haven't diluted in a very long time as well. A very good share structure, very small market cap of $20.3 million, authorized shares at 300 million, and their outstanding shares are currently at 164 million, with 10 million of those shares being locked up. The float is 153 million. So a very good share structure and a company that is continuing to grow. Year over year, looking at their annual growth for the past few years, in 2022, they did $93 million in total revenue. 
The year before that, they did 64 million. The year before that, 44 million. And the year before that, 18 million. Their margins are not looking that good as they only had $1.8 million in gross profit for the year 2022. And they did lose $6 million that year they are improving their revenue forecast so their revenue is growing which is a positive sign really need to see their margins increase they do have 13 million dollars in total assets and six million dollars in debt so and they lost 363,000 in q1 of 2023 so they like i said they do need to improve their margins but it looks like they are making steps to do that this announced that q3 will start showing their revenue increases so they are actually very close to becoming profitable in terms of net income like I said, only lost 363000 in Q1 of 2023 for the start of the year. Definitely one to watch to see how they can improve their margins. And obviously, their revenue is expected to go up. This is definitely one to watch. One that I still think is very undervalued and has a lot of potential. Another ticker we have that could be bottomed out that I did cover in the past that did have a run to one cent. You know, then kind of died off. Have a new CEO and new business take over back when this happened there was a lot of hype and genesis electronics group through its wholly owned subsidiary is building the first of its kind autonomous road to rail shipping vehicles called gliders gliders will enable fully loaded semi-trailers access to rails where traditionally it didn't make sense genesis electronics group plans on owning and operating each glider in his fleet and providing a glider as a service business model on this genesis Electronics Group, GEGI, maker of the autonomous road-to-rail patent-pending shipping technology, Glide announced that it has signed a binding exclusive manufacturing partnership agreement with BART Manufacturing, Inc. to build Glide units. Glide and BART also confirmed that the production of the all-electric Glide units is projected to start at the end of the summer once final joint design for manufacturing activities are completed at BART's world-class manufacturing facility in California, where they have provided engineered solutions in technology, automotive, aerospace, industrial systems, consumer, electronics, and solar industries for companies. From the start of this partnership, Glide and Bart aligned very quickly on the importance of delivering high quality product, a high quality product that will support at such at such a crucial time as short line rail operators look to identify a decarbonized and safer solutions across the United States, said GEGI and Glide. CEO, uh, this agreement is broad-based and comprehensive, covering plan volumes, manufacturing costs, and quality metrics required to meet the company's first projected milestone to complete the first 10 steps of beta units that will be deployed into the field to prove out the durability, reliability, and quality of the product. The learnings from the beta program will be applied to Glide and BART's commercialization uh, program's life cycle through 2029 which will cover all stages, including the critical planning and launch phases. And they do have a pretty bad share structure, a small market cap of $3.6 million, $5 billion authorized shares, and $2.1 billion outstanding shares. And they, it looks like they will need funding. It will, it will take money to accomplish what they're doing, get production started, everything like that. So, you know, dilution is a good possibility in the short to medium term. It looks like it could happen and really affect the price. Um, volume is picking up. They're starting to put catalysts out. So still one that could have a run. Just keep an eye on dilution. And considering they don't have any revenue or anything like that. Did have a run over one cent in the past when I did cover it. Some people are saying it looks severely undervalued. Looking for one cent plus here. It's a good test. One cent or two cent highs. If Demoa, Kevin Demoa, whatever, continues to deliver and get contracts. So, you know, big catalysts could still push this one up like crazy. The convertible notes issued to purchase Glide are convertible at a fixed price of 005 and 008 more than 100 percent plus from the current stock price art trade says right here gegi revolutionary tech indeed sitting under a penny gegi i just can't reiterate enough what we have in our hands at especially especially at these prices revolutionary tech that could change the transportation industry via ai autonomous and ev technology all led by a man and team with experience you don't see in the otc markets this one could still see a run to one to two cents. We'll just have to see what happens and what kind of contracts and if they do get any kind of government funding and we'll see what kind of PRs they can put out. Keep in mind, there's some very well qualified people working for this company and on their team. Definitely have to do your research on it or check out my old videos and see what they have going on. Cole says right here, they literally might be the only company with a price per share this low that has this type of leadership, an actual patent pending innovative product that has a real world use with an actual roadmap to achieve their vision. They have a long term vision, a big roadmap, and they have demonstrated this, demonstrated this by being very communicative in the past and showing their roadmap. 
and this isn't even speculation anymore this belongs above 0 0.005 plus right now on that information alone and in my opinion if they do follow through the sky is the limit here infobird company ltd now ticker ifbd infobird company which is now trading at one dollar and 46 but is exploding pre-market got a company with a micro float under four million uh shares that float already almost has 10 million volume pre-market this one is exploding there's really no limit for how big this this one can run because the float is so small and the volume is going crazy this is definitely one you have to watch going into the week definitely one you don't want to miss out on one that has the most active watchers in the last 24 hours number one on stock twits right now and over the weekend so I, obviously this one has a lot of eyes on it make sure you like the video put notifications on and subscribe if you haven't already hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments what you think make sure you comment everything like that to support the algorithm for my channel and i will see you guys on the next video